Money. It connects complete strangers. Through money, we build and we break. Money helps us fulfill our wishes. Some of us have a lot of money. Some of us have less. But money is a universal need for both individuals and businesses. Our interaction with money has transformed over the years. We build financial institutions that help us manage it. We can save it in a bank. We can take loans to invest in a business or to buy things we like. Technology has made money simpler for us. Money is now digital. And our lives have never been so convenient. But is it the same for everyone? For millions of people across the world, money is not simple at all. There are people we see every day. In our homes, our cities, and our villages. In a low-paid job for an industry often called the lifeline of our economy. Living in a foreign land, sending remittances back home. The farmers who grow the food we eat. The fishermen who spend months away from home. And the millions of small businesses that we call the engine of our economic growth. Their interaction with money is very limited for many reasons. Irregular income, social status, limited education, distance, and many other factors all restrict their ability to save, borrow, and spend money with convenience. They cannot save for their children's future, invest in businesses, and step up the economic ladder. This basic necessity is even more crucial for people who are vulnerable to shocks, such as natural disasters, medical emergencies, and economic crisis. Access to financial services would help to solve some of the world's most persistent problems, such as poverty and inequality. Around 1.7 billion people in this world do not have access to financial services. In Bangladesh, half of all working-age adults remain unbanked. More than 50% of them are women. Financial inclusion means that individuals and businesses have access to useful, affordable financial products and services that meet their needs. Transactions, payments, savings, credit and insurance delivered in a responsible and sustainable way. And in order to build an equitable world, we must focus our efforts to reach those who are left out. We must.